Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to create user accounts for your application using Backendless Console. To do this, you will need to switch to the data screen, uh, which is the front end for your database for your application. And you will see that the users table is going to be selected by default. So to create an account, you simply click the new button. Uh, a new row is created here and you just simply fill out uh, the values for various columns in this row. So here you enter the email address, um, they used mine, and put the name in, and then put the password for your uh, user that you're creating. Press return, and then the, a record is created in the database. Very, very straightforward process. And if you ask why you may need to do this, there are different reasons. Number one is if you're uh, debugging your application and need to create a user account, let's say you don't have the user registration form done yet, but you need to log in and perform some API functions on behalf of this user, this is a sure way to do this. Uh, uh, another option is, let's say if you're released an application and you have a very limited set of users, you know them in advance and you don't have registration form again, then you simply just create user accounts here and you can manage them right here in the users table as well. Uh, the columns that you see here, they match the, the schema for the user's uh, table. The schema is managed right here in the schema tab. And uh, something else to note is the column that is responsible for identity, meaning the values for this column are used in the login API call. That column is always highlighted in this light blue color. And email is, uh, is the identity column by default. That's it. Very straightforward. And uh, enjoy creating your users.